Hey there everyone. Um, perfect time for me to be making a video because I am, before I continue, I will say it is 1.52 in the afternoon here in Melbourne, Australia. It is the 29th of May 2023. I am sitting on my bed in my warm house. Thank goodness for ducted heating is what I can say. Um, on my very comfortable bed, I took ages to be able to figure out how to get my arm like connected to me but that's about as best as I could do. This is one of the jumpers that Ellie gave me that I freaking love like oh she brought this other stack of clothing over the other night as well um before I'd spoken to my doctor and had the fucking bejesus get out of me about moving whatsoever um Though Andrew was right when he said that, that it goes without saying I'm going to have to use it now and again. But it's, yeah, I didn't, couldn't hear that at the time he was saying it to me, which um, I feel bad about. So I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, so I'm actually having a great day. It, it um, like, I know I've been saying in my posts and my videos on I'm basically on bed rest. I want to clarify that it's it's more the fact that I'm just not supposed to be moving because as you are all probably aware, almost every movement affects your ribs, right? Sitting still in a pos like same position doesn't as much or at all if you don't fidget like me. Um, it does very much um, appear, not appear, it's happening, it's a fact, that every time I do do t something too much or I move too much, um, it just becomes absolutely more intensified in pain. And I know this sounds really fucking trippy, and I'm really hoping it's not just my imagination. I'm fairly certain it's not, but here it goes, I'm going to tell you anyway. I swear it's like the lump gets smaller. I've been using this cannabis weed bump thing that Sundance gave me. Right? It fucking smells amazing. And I've been putting it on the lump, which is helping. But I very much remember noticing that it had gone down. And I believe this was only yesterday. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it yesterday in a video. But... Last night I kept having these like bursts of energy and I seriously detest it when my floor is past the point of needing to be vacuumed. Like I have made video after video after video after video, well really a lot now that I'm thinking about it, solely pretty much based on how much my floor constantly needs to be vacuumed. Um, like, I, I did try to invest in a robo vacuum cleaner. I was so happy to begin with because I, I really did think it was going to work. Um, except that it just kept literally, like, shitting out dust every once in a while in these piles. So, not effective. Um, wasn't until I'd returned it, though, that... I think I'm pretty sure it was Andrew again who mentioned to me that um, my f like this my floor's not even like my my kitchen floor alone has multiple different like that floating floorboard look and stuff yeah because you got to remember this house was never meant to be rented out like when I first saw this house I couldn't breathe from the smell of like the rat infestation there was no floor on the kitchen floor which sounds bizarre but it was like a clearly needed flooring put down yeah like um there were no doors or cupboards or anything on the doors or the cupboards because every single window was absolutely boarded the fuck up whoever had lived here before me had not really moved out moved out like they'd taken what was important and the rest of the house was absolutely utterly trashed um, so yeah, I've, I've been here for a while. In my head, I solely just, I literally just heard while saying that at the same time, 
what is the point of this? I know there's a point, I just don't totally remember what it's about. Yes, I do. Moving into my house and all the floors being uneven. Plus, I'm now at five and a half years of being in my house, which is unbelievably, absolutely fucking amazing. Because if you're not aware, the story of my house came about because they were building units next to my old house, which was an illegal add-on, which I had no access to the power box for. So every time my house tripped, power outage, if my neighbours weren't home, I was stuck in the dark, which just became fucking annoying after a very long time. And I know I've told this story before. I know I'm at like day 500 and fucked if I know something or other. Like, oh, here's something for you all to know. If you're following me and you are subscribed to me, thank you so much. Like, it's really weird. I think I watch myself back and I say, like, I'm so grateful for all of you who follow along and, and support me and are on my journey with me and are subscribed and whatnot, which is all very, very true. Um, I would be doing this whether or not I got a single view or no views or whatever the hell the case may be because and this is where I guess it gets confusing and not even confusing but more in the sense of that we all have different layers. I'm just highly aware of a lot of mine. I'm highly aware of the ones I'm not aware of too which makes no sense except to say that I'm aware that they're there but that's the extent, right? But I got one thing to deal with at a time, yeah? Anyway, um, I'm extremely happy about my house because, yeah, like I said, they'd never planned to rent it out. Um, they came in and when I say they, like the dude that owned it at the time and now it's now been sold from under me three times that I'm aware of. The first couple of years, it was a little confusing because the guy that gave me the, the property who took the builders off the project, like, so we're talking about a full-on, like, building company, yeah, with the builders getting paid to be at their work building these units for, like, whatever, and yet they got taken off the site for three days and brought to the house I live in, and they, like, gutted it and put all the things in that someone would need to live here, and then, like, um, yeah, they gave me everything I needed to scrub the house down and then paint the house and they moved me in. And yeah, like I said, I've been here since the 1st of November 2017. It is a decent size family three bedroom house. The huge backyard that needs to be mowed, but that's needy and all year. Um, but yeah, no, I pay $100 a week rent and I've been paying $100 a week rent and they, and like it's not calendar month or anything either. I'll tell you what, side note, when I first started renting in this country, I was like, what the fuck is this calendar fucking crap? You told me it was say, for example, $300 a week, but now you're actually doing it at 300 times 52 divided by 12 and it works out. And yeah, that used to piss me off. A little side note. Uh, but what am I trying to say? Yeah, no, it's $400 on the first of every month that I just direct debit to them, which is, again, how I've managed to fucking pay my way through uni. Um, and, yeah, what am I trying to say? Last night, I had this burst of energy, and this whole little slide stuff was about how much I hate my floor not being vacuumed, right? It drives me crazy. Like it's it's it it's like an OCD thing. Yeah, it's like I keep saying, the house needs to be fucking dusted and this and that and everything else. But my house is clean and the floors are done. That's not true. Half the floors are done, and I'm over the freaking moon. I'm feeling good as anything, mentally and emotionally, physically. Holy motherfucker! Like. I'm taking this break talking to you guys because <laughs> I've already forgotten the entire reason I started this video, but thankfully it's open on the page behind the camera. And I'm praying that the freaking, what am I trying to say? 
clarity is okay because oh my god I watched that other video and it was shocking um Pete 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 from Florida oh I watched your video on your channel and I want to know if you'll let me stay with you if I come visit I would do like praying hands but I've only got one anyway um talking about communities yeah let me see if I can finish my first story uh, yeah, all right, I'm going to pull it around. So my house is clean, my washing is done, needs to be put in the dryer, and I'm going to use the dryer, that's fine. Um, last night I did do the floors, and it made me feel like I was dying afterwards because, seriously, to God, um, moving and to pull it all back together, the lump, when I'm uh, like doing absolutely nothing for, say, two days, and I can't even lie properly because, again, it hurts too fucking much. Um, but the lump was reducing and getting smaller. And then last night I did the fucking vacuuming after washing my dishes with one hand and tidying up my kitchen and putting everything away because, again, clutter fucks with my head. Yeah, I have enough stuff in my head to deal with without my house being tidy. My house, it's important to me. So... I really tried not to push myself. I even wrote a blog about it last night. I was like, I did the dishes, I tidied up. I desperately wanted the, the floors done. And I had like shaken out my heart little like floor rug that I have. And so it was like a thousand times worse looking at it. Um, and I was just like, don't do it, Liv. It's going to make everything worse. So I did. I went away. I sat down, took pain meds. They obviously started to help. And therefore I went back and did the vacuuming and I did like kitchen laundry toilet hallway so a decent amount um but fuck man did as soon as I sat back down I was over the moon happy about how tidy everything was and how I'd actually done it um oh my god but yeah no my body on the other hand not so happy at all and I swear the fucking lump is bigger again and again I'm not totally sure if it's my imagination or not pretty sure it's not but you know um but I am happy with all of that getting done I have been trying to figure out now I Pete where are we I read a comment that you wrote a few days ago right and at the time I remember thinking I need to come back and address this so this morning I had to go through a lot of comments and emails to try and figure out which one it was and it turns out just catching up on my own videos that I still needed to watch and reading the comments was actually the way to do it so win-win I guess uh, but the comment that I'm referring to is regarding the community um, on Discord. Now, Discord is a platform I fully don't know how to use, all right? That's just truth be told, I need someone to help me. I thought Graham and Randy were gonna help me. Randy, my dear friend, is not here anymore, and Graham, 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 Graham. Well, let's just say I, one of my versions was a very fucking big bitch during a breakdown, maybe? I don't know. Basically, I said all the things that I was thinking that I said to my therapist after, but in a very not nice way. I have no idea if I, if I had been able to like just go, yep, yeah, cool, I don't care what you do and just put, and shut my mind off to that part completely which is impossible because a big part of my relationship and friendship with Graham was the fact that we were so in sync and able to talk about a lot of stuff a lot of my male friends like talking about sex stuff I'm just really becoming a parent with they really mm, so I'm not mm, it's probably going to come across wrong because let's face it it's literally written in my fucking about page. And, and the master's degree I want to do, the only reason I haven't told any of you is, is because I honestly go through these waves of, am I honestly going to put myself through fucking hell again for a degree? And every time I'm like, no, 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 there's a part of me that's like, yeah, but you know you are. Because... 
because I just think it would be perfect. And truthfully, there are things that I need to be keeping. Oh my god, you should see fucking boss, guys. I'm going to see if I can show you this. All right, this is what it does. This is what I'm trying to get you to understand. This is boss, see, coming up to the pillow. Yeah, and he wants in. Right? Now, this is this is what he's doing. He's going to sit on that fucking pillow and my drink bottle and everything. Because it's like the closest he can get in. Maybe he just wants to. You giving your mummy loving? Loving? Oh, I've told um, Juice, he's coming tomorrow. And I've told him, asked him, he's agreed to it. If he will take all the fucking weed out of my house, the size of the oil. So he's been shopping today, and I know he's cooking food for me, which is just unbelievably fucking amazing. Like, the man's a saint. I wish I could clone him. Or that he had, like, a male single friend who was the exact same. Or, let's face it, I wish Abs would just fucking call me and be done with this shit. And I'm going to be like, Abs is my new nickname for Mr. X. Because in my head, Mr. X just seems really something. I know what I feel. I don't know how the word to explain it. But as a philosopher... I would say there are not always words to explain things as in my last philosophy unit language and truth prove that now where are we at boss what are we trying to say mommy's trying to get to the actual point of this fucking video and i'm nearly at 17 minutes all right so the point of this video is i i talk to all of you because a I'm clearly someone who needs to talk it out, right? B, for, and I would usually say whatever reason, I still believe it's the big point reason, I cannot do this without sharing and get benefit. It doesn't work for me. I could do this video. Okay, let's, I've done this for a year, actually. Maybe let's think, Liv, pull back to say, the very first time I actually picked up my camera and made a video, which I have shared on my channel. And that was, I'm pretty sure, the 29th of September 2017, right? So the very last time I smoked an ice pipe was the 24th of July 2016 at 4 30 in the morning right and so we're skipping it forward to 2017 mm -hmm. and again I've been saying it since however long I've been making these videos and I've been trying to fucking <laughs> figure that out but I keep ending up on this Danielle Kirsty page because she's awesome uh, today is day 516 it's a lot. I have been making videos for 516 days in a row. I really need to do the calculation. That makes me 37 and what are we at? Five months and six days maybe? 30, 31st? I don't know. How many days is fucking May? Um, oh, and I didn't, didn't even get to the point before when I said all of you guys following me. It means a lot, but um, like, I do this for, this is like therapy. Let's face it, I was thinking about this last night. Because I keep thinking about this man who I've spoken to via email. Do you see how I jump? Jump, jump, jump. I fucking absolutely need professional training. Um, I keep thinking, I will come back to this. Let me finish the first lot. Um, 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 where are we at? The videos that I did make, yes, I knew I wasn't ready to go. I knew that the videos back then were teaching me something, but I wasn't, like there was no way any part of me felt okay about posting them as they are the way I do now. Like, 
forget sharing them after they've been viewed and edited and whatnot and that there's like a lit like the, the way I do this truth be told the way I make these videos talking to all of you and then uploading them without viewing them was never a conscious thought that was never something I planned and I've been trying to figure out how exactly it ended up being that this is the niche that I've got with this channel and this website, Life's a Story, that is literally the title of Life's a Story, like we're all in, in one, you know, like anytime you tell someone anything, you're telling them a story, like that's why, that's, I don't know, like I just said, I didn't consciously make this thought. I didn't consciously do any of it in a lot of the ways. I mean, let's face it, we can see that I've been like floating along for a while here. Anyway, win win. I did see another lesson learned coming from a place of fear versus a place of love with ordering those stupid fucking chips. Like, $20 in the big scheme of things is nothing. I've spent, like, you wouldn't want to even imagine how many thousands upon thousands of dollars I've spent on fucking drugs, specifically ice, how many thousands of dollars I've spent on some insane crap, yeah, and I spent an entire day fucking doing my own hidden over not fucking paying more attention, and it wasn't just that, I keep going back and around in my head, so I say all the things that I do because I obviously believe them and I believe them because I'm living it, yeah, but even the things like abundance, there's a block within me because I keep thinking I actually truly am this manifesting queen and I don't want to be one of those, I'm a queen, I'm woke, I'm this, I'm not that, I'm not any of that, I'm just fucking relaying my life, but there is a definite blockage because if there wasn't, that would not have bugged me and they shit like that happens and continues to happen until I can figure out how to not let it bug me. It's all lessons. It's all lessons. The only thing that I think keeps me going these days more than anything is now the ability to be like detached from what happened and be like, okay, what are you trying to teach me? You know? And yesterday, I'll be honest and say, hey, look, I don't know the date. I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of reasons I made these videos. One of them being to keep track. So I don't know the day that I last spoke about it. But I feel like it's been. My weed oil is kicking in. Oh, it's fucking amazing. If, I just wish I could stay this feeling all day. But it doesn't last. But, um... Let me think, people. Hmm. That definitely helps. I'm going to say that much. Yep. I still have stories I want to actually finish. Tell. Let me think. I'll come back. All right. So, one of the, all right, let's finish one off. One of the things I want, yeah, is the fact that I make these videos, okay? Now, I do like that you will watch, right? I talk about egos and human fucking 3D cells down here and planet Earth, right, and higher selves. I learn all about this and I know all about this because I've got a big fucking giant cunt of an ego. And I say it like that and I know I shouldn't because I know it's built up of all the many different parts of me. It just doesn't unfortunately change that when I switch I become a bitch. And I'm heightenedly aware of it now, which sucks. No, that's not right. It sucks that I don't have better control of it. But I promise you all, I'm very much doing everything I can to continue to be the best version of me. Now, the reason I'm specifically saying thank you to all of you who do follow along and subscribe is because my subscribers have dropped and they're 
not by a lot for sure, but it, like I have so few subscribers now. Do like I had 313 subscribers last time I checked, which was right before I picked up this fucking thing because I wanted to talk about it. Because like I said, I've been going through all the comments and reading all the videos because I've been trying to find Pete's comment, which I'll swing back around to. Now it's 25 minutes. Yeah, I have 313 subscribers and 870 videos. And that's awesome, like amazing. I, I, like I said, I remember when I was doing this and I had one. And then, you know, four or five. So to have 313 is amazing. Um, especially since I truly don't know how any of you out there find me because um, I don't know what it comes up in other people's stuff. Like I am like don't tag people or mention people or do anything to try and gain followers I do feel like and again it's it's like the, the two versions that this is more of something that people will be drawn to and will find you know like I want this to evolve my channel I want my channel to evolve there are many different ways I want my channel to evolve the concept, the niche of always talking, making my videos and uploading them without viewing them will remain the same. That's going to remain the same. That's working for me. What can I say? Um, like I wrote a blog last night and I was like, if I film something or I write something and I don't share it, then I don't view it and I don't learn because I film my doctor's session, right? My last one in person I filmed it and I explained it at the time I filmed the whole thing on my camera and I filmed I tried to film it on my phone now if the e-scripts hadn't been sent through to my phone during it I probably would have updated it would have uploaded it that day but I don't know where it ended or any of it because as I've just said I haven't watched them they didn't get uploaded so they didn't get viewed which doesn't help me because it's through watching this th these videos that I learn. And like I've said, it doesn't work for me if I only do it for myself. Ergo, I now need to transfer, let's put a little lesson on the side, transfer the video from the camera to my laptop. I'm going to watch it. This one, like I've said, it's been so long, I'm going to watch it first. That's the only sort of circumstances, like... I think I can think of one video that I absolutely watched before I uploaded the infamous shower video that got removed. If any of you out there remember the date or around about what date that time or the month was, please let me know because I really want to find the video, which is obviously in my storage, but I don't even know what fucking date to look for. Ergo, this is just reminding me and all of you, which will remind me again, that this is what I need to start at day one and go back through them all and document everything. And I think the number one reason I don't want to do that is because I'm pretty sure my sister and I had the fight around the 3rd or 4th of January when I started these. And I know I made some real fucking angry distressing heavily content warned warning videos again obviously I've seen them could not tell you exactly what's in them but since I've been dealing with the same bullshit rage and anger for as long as I can remember I can guess or imagine or just know from all previous times of um complete and utter emotional dysregulation and as someone with borderline well if you have been watching along you'll know all about it I film my therapy sessions for a reason and speaking of therapy I've had to email my therapist and be like so I can't drive for the next four weeks so we're doing it on telehealth next time so that'll be interesting thankfully I'll be back at work 
I can drive to work on Saturday, 24th of June, which is good because it gives me a couple shifts before Rahi Hora. Meaning it's fine. Um, but yes, okay, at 30 minutes and 3 seconds, I'm tempted to, truth be told, stop this video and make another video about what I actually want to do. So I don't know if the people will keep watching. So I'm going to say, guys, it's 2.22 in the afternoon on Monday, the 29th of May, 2023. I'm going to upload this and then I'm going to make another video about what I actually wanted to talk about in this video because I want people to see it. <laughs> okay, bye!